So it's no surprise that I have another controller to fix, a uh, PS4 controller to be exact. And what is wrong with this one is that it doesn't connect to the PS4. So what happens when I plug in the USB that is connected to the console, it just shows an orange light. So let me demonstrate that right now. So it's connected and let me press the connect button or the power button so it connects to the PlayStation. But as you can tell, whenever I press it, it just remains orange. So that may just be the home button. That might be the issue or it might be actually the USB connection. Maybe it's a little dirty or something. From now, um, I'm just going to take the thing apart and see if this is the issue or it's the actual USB port. I don't think it's the USB port because it does look like it's getting power, but it might be that. So let's further inspect this. I took off the back cover and immediately I don't see anything wrong like the other controllers. So it might be this cable, but I'm not too sure so far. I don't think it is. It looks pretty fine to me. It still could be this part as well. What I think it is, is the actual PS button. So I'm going to go a little bit further and see how that button looks. It looks like this controller hasn't been taken apart either, but I could be wrong about that. I'm going to check out the button. Maybe someone spilled something and caused the button to not make a good connection. Okay, so I took it apart and it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's a little dirty right here So maybe that might be the issue. I could try cleaning this. I'm gonna clean it anyway So I'm gonna clean the buttons and see how that looks I also looked at the, the button right here the actual silicone wafer and it looks completely new So I don't think that's an issue as well But again, I'm gonna clean these buttons and see if that makes a difference I also checked the connection where the ribbon cable or the conductive film makes with the motherboard So let me show you that as well so the conductive film connects to the motherboard right here and that looks fine. Um, there's no visible issue. And if you look at the ribbon cable or the conductive film, it looks slightly dirty as well. I'm not too sure. It doesn't look that damaged or anything of that sort. So I'm just gonna take everything apart and just give it a good clean and maybe that'll solve the issue. So what I've done is I cleaned every button, the conductive film, even the connection that connects to the mother motherboard and the conductive film. Everything's connected to a state where I could just test it. So what I'm gonna do is plug in that USB cable and see what happens. Okay, we have that orange light again, so let's press that button and see if that changes anything. So if we press this button, it doesn't look like it does anything. Okay, so before we go any further, what I wanna do is actually try to reset the PS4 controller. So what you could do is press this button right here if you press this down, this should reset it. So see how it turned off. Um, hold it down for a few seconds and let it turn on again. So now let me try to reconnect it by pressing that button. And now it doesn't turn on. Okay, so there may be an issue with the USB port then. Oh, there it goes again, and it goes away. So maybe it is the USB port. So the way that I'm going to test the USB port is by basically replacing it with one that works. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so what I did, I took apart uh, a good working controller and put um, the USB port of that controller onto this controller and see if that fixes anything. So I'm going to try reconnecting it now. We still get an orange light and then it goes away. Okay, um, let me try pressing the home button. Um, it looks like that's not working either. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's the USB port at all. I don't know if the battery's dead. I don't think it is though. I could check that real quick. Okay, so the battery isn't dead. I mean, it's at moderately charged or so, but it's not dead. So it's not the battery either. I'm gonna try resetting it again. Maybe that new part caused it to do something else. I don't know. And no light is on. And then we get an orange light and then it goes away. I don't know what that could be. I also changed the ribbon cable. I know the ribbon cable and the USB port is working. So it must be something else. I don't know what it could be though. I'm going to further mess around with this and see if I could come up with something. Okay, I'm sorry for the audio change. Uh, there's something wrong with my computer right now. I don't want to even deal with it. But anyway, I got this working. Well, allegedly. 
So the way I got it to show a blue light is I went through the DS4 Windows solution. I have a tutorial on this channel already. I talked about this before already in this video, but go to that video and try that and see if it works. This requires you to download the DS4 Windows application on your computer and have a USB cable that can connect to your computer with this controller. So go through that solution, make sure you download the drivers for the application and go through that solution and see if you get a blue light instead of an orange one. So now what I'm going to do that now it's successfully connected to my computer I'm going to try to connect it with my console and if it connects with my console it should technically work and I'll further inspect the issues with my controller later. So here's the test this USB cable is connected to my PS4 so we're going to connect it. Alright we get an orange light so let's press the home button or the PS button and nothing connects. God damn it, I thought that was going to be the solution. So, it can connect to my computer, but not my PS4. So now what I'm thinking, maybe it is the PS button. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I have to update my PS4 and see if it works that way. So, I'm going to further inspect that issue. Okay, so uh, I have it connected to my computer and it still shows the blue light. I've tested all the buttons um, and it looks like it's working in DS4 Windows because DS4 Windows has a way to check the buttons. The only button that I cannot check apparently is this PS button. Um, I don't think they have anything that could check it. But for example, I could make the controller rumble. You know, I could test like a heavy rumble. So it, it's working and I could do a light rumble or whatever. I was doing both. And there you go, there's a light one. And, you know, I could check the other buttons as well, such as the D-pad, the other analog sticks, whatever you want to do. But I can't check this button, so I don't know if that's the issue. But what I'm going to do um, is try to do that pairing method that I was going to try to do earlier, but wasn't able to because the controller wasn't able to turn on. What I'm going to do is just simply try to do that solution. So the first step is to put your DS4 controller into pairing mode by using the PS button and the share button um, simultaneously. So it should blink white. Okay, and it's not blinking white. So that still leads me to believe that one of these buttons are not working. Um, it could be the share button maybe. Maybe it's because it's already connected to the USB, the pairing doesn't work. So let me try taking it out and see if that's the issue. So it seems it doesn't turn on by itself. So I don't know what that is. So it looks like it does need some sort of external or power for it to turn on. So I guess the one way could I could check this is by using a controller that works and connected to DS4 Windows and press these buttons and see if DS4 Windows does anything. So I'm going to try that. Okay, I figured out an issue. Okay, I did what I said. I plugged in this controller into DS4 Windows and pressed this button to see if it did anything. And it actually did. It popped up a window on my computer. So then I reconnected this controller and pressed this button and that same window did not pop up. Therefore, it leads me to believe that this button is the issue. What I'm going to do now is change the conductive film of this controller with a working controller and see if that's the issue. Because I know the button itself did not look worn or anything. And then we're going to retry it with DS4 Windows and see if this button works. If it works, then we'll try it with the PS4. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. I have it replaced the ribbon cable or the conductive film from a good working controller into this one and let's see if it turns on now and it does and it connects to the PS4 alright so it looks like the issue was that the PS button did not work looks like it's fully charged as well so I don't have to worry about charging it but it looks like the PS4 controller is now working so the issue is if you have this connection issue assuming that you gone through this whole video watching it and see what I've been through the issue is this thing right here so this is the broken one the one that was originally in this controller and if you look closely there are some like cosmetic damages right here I tried cleaning that up but apparently that didn't do anything so the only way I could repair this controller is if I order a new one of these which is not that expensive as well these are like a dollar or so but I know that this controller works. So the next thing I'm going to do is just play with this controller and see if, if all the buttons work. That's an issue. 
I need to fix that. But the controller itself looks like it's working and connecting to the PS4. Okay, so I just finished testing this controller. All the buttons seem to work. It connects to my uh, PS4 flawlessly and it seems to hold its charge as well. So everything on this controller is now working. So I just wanna quickly, quickly uh, summarize what I just did. So initially, the controller was showing orange blinking lights and then it turned to just one blinking light and then turning off completely. And then the PS4 controller would connect to the PS4 and then only blink once and then die. So from there, what I did was test the USB port, it was fine. I tested the battery, it was fine. And the next thing I did was connect it to my computer and it connected to my computer and it showed the blue light. However, when I tried to turn it on without a USB cable, it did not turn on. So the faulty suspect is this PS button. So I cleaned the buttons and then tried again and see if it worked, it did not work. So then I used a good controller connected to my computer and pressed the PS button and see if there's any signal on my computer that it will detect. It detected on the good working controller and then I tried it with this controller, it did not detect anything. So the fault is this PS button. Or more directly stated, the fault is this thing right here. So this is what's causing your PS4 controller to not turn on or not connect to your PS4 wirelessly. And that is the issue. So something wrong with this um, right here or some connection along here. It does look a little bent along here, but I mean it's supposed to be it's supposed to bend right here because that's how it connects, but there was some residue on on this tracing, but um, this is your issue if you had the same um, troubleshooting things that you did in this video. If you follow the same thing and you had the same issue, then this is your issue. And this is a very cheap fix. It's like a dollar or so. You may have to wait a little bit to for this uh, part to arrive, but it's a very simple fix. You just have to just take apart your controller. It might be a little bit uh, a hassle to put this back in, but this is your issue. So this one um, kind of stumped me for a good bit, but it looks like these uh, conductive films get damaged somehow. Um, I don't know how. I'll probably research into how these things get damaged. Um, I don't see any visible wear and tear except for maybe right there. There is a, definitely a crease on this conductive film, so maybe that's what's causing the issue. And that button, this button, the PS button, is connected on that crease, so maybe that is it. Um, but all the other buttons seem to work, so it's just not this one. There you go. Hopefully this video has helped you guys for a PS4 that doesn't connect wirelessly and doesn't turn on. So if this video helped you in any certain way, if you have any questions, please leave in a comment down below or like this video. Um, I'll probably be fixing a, a few more PS4 controllers because I still have three or four to fix. And that is it for this video. I'll see you next time.